What's up, everybody? Oxidize bringing you some corrupted dungeons, the new sauce coming in 2020. Yes, the rise of Avalon brought us corrupted dungeons, and today we're starting something a little bit new. I'm going to show you some builds. Um, here on out, the next few days, I'm going to show you how to. <gasps> I messed up. That's okay. We don't even need the stew, dude. Who? No one needs stew like I do. Okay. So we are going to go broadsword today. Broadsword is actually kind of a sleeper in my opinion. You don't see it too often, but it's pretty tasty. So let's go over the build real quick. We have the broadsword with the heroic cleave, parry strike, mighty blow with the deep cuts passive. When we go into PVP, we'll be going into a heroic strike instead. A little bit more single target damage uh, rather than the uh, cleave that you don't really need on 1v1. The guardian helmet. Guardian helmet is a staple right now it's insanely good gives you a little bit of a heal and gets rid of any damage over time effects kind of insane kind of good uh really good against a light crossbow right now you can uh you can get rid of the uh, get rid of a light crossbow's e with the emergency heal here which light crossbow as you can tell is extremely apparent in this game if we look, look right here let's, let's, let's see what this guy's using oh he's not actually using it that's insane but for the longest time these guys were using the light crossbow but uh anyway that kind of doesn't prove my point anyway there's a lot of good stuff going on right now moving on forward the mage robe with the urging shield also very good i like the aggression uh passive there uh, by the way the purging shield really good for getting rid of buffs it's really important in one of the ones in pvp in general guardian boots for the uh, for the double health and increased movement speed for eight seconds along with the toughness this is really good when you run into either um big burst attacks uh, or if you get if you get stuck in a trap like one of those little like one of the lava traps you can pop this It might even save your life you might even get, end up getting the win moving over to the taproot The taproot is insane. The taproot is not broken in my opinion But it's really it's in a really good place right now 1v1 wise and then finally the martlock cape for the extra defensive Builds uh, and a stew if I was an idiot, but whatever. I don't I, I don't think I'll need it And then a healing potion just in case we need it. We're gonna contract up here. and Let's get going So how is this gonna work? Uh, we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna show you some of the corrupted dungeon um, And after a while if we don't run into an invasion I will cut to the invasion or being invaded and show you a little bit of the PvP side of things Now you might be wondering oxy you beautiful son of a gun you 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 high testosterone daddy Are you, are you only gonna show me wins? No, I don't plan to only show you wins. I want to show you everything i want to show you the wins i want to show you the losses i plan on doing multiple like a, a whole load of different builds um now if i do win that'd be super cool uh, i do feel pretty confident with the broadsword though so this one this one is definitely kind of like a yeah I, I know what i'm talking about with broadswords um but in the future i can't promise you that i'll know everything that there is about a certain weapon okay just it's gonna be that's gonna throw that out there i'm not i'm not pew pew I'm not uh, I'm not flaccid, you know, shout out to them. They're, they're, they're pretty good at this game me I'm just I'm just some dude being a guy. What can I say? Okay But I would love to hear your thoughts on corrupted dungeons thus far. What do you think of them? What are your uh, what, what are the you know complaints? What are the like big big hell? Yeah, is their sandbox you knocked it right out of the park. I would love to hear it me personally I'm loving it. I really think there it, it's an improvement to the overall game I think you're gonna be bringing a whole new crowd of people which i've already noticed because like man the uh it is packed like sardines in some of these cities nowadays you know you know there goes the neighborhood with all the noobs coming in <laughs> am i right or am i right okay as you can see here the uh the the the, 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 the pvp carnage is actually pretty good here I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that this is a you know, I mean swords in general are in a great place, right? Now. All right swords are in just a fantastic Place, uh, you know, I, I kind of saw it coming. I you know, you know me. I've always been a sword lord. I've um Through and through a, a, be, Before we even had corrupt dungeons. I knew swords are just you know that good hybrid weapon So we're about to go about to go invade let me show you a thing or two on how to invade here. We take a look. We notice he's getting a shard over here. Oh, he's right around the corner, baby. He's right around the corner, baby. There he is. Okay, it's POE. We are a little low on health, so we're going to make sure we get our health back before we engage. Uh, well, that was kind of bad, but that's okay. 
All right, so we, we went ahead and popped that. Go ahead and do that right there. Go ahead and pop the potion. There we go. Now, so you, you saw right there, the mage robe allowed us, there it is, GG's boys. That E is so good. Always, oh my God. A 4.3 Daybreaker, a 4.3 Thedford Gate, Avalone. This dude thought he was going to win every single battle he was going to get into. Holy crap, my mans. Holy crap, dude. What did I tell you? Broadsword's insane. This guy wasn't very good. Let's be, let's be straight. Let's be straightforward here. The guy wasn't very good. Things you need to know about that fight right now. The purge. The purge was huge. You saw he had the spears spinning around him. Well, the purge got rid of those spears, okay? Now, I would love to see what you think about that. I, I, I definitely messed up on a couple things. I, I, I want to talk about it. You know me, I'm a talker. I, I get it all the time. Can you please stop talking in your videos? No, I'm a talker through and through. My mother was a talker. My dad's a talker. I'm a talker. Get over it, okay? You just saw the most high octane PvP you've ever seen in your life. Of course, I'm going to talk about it. All right, so he definitely wasn't very good he came uh, it, it, i mean like he like he was built like he was about to be real good let's be honest here in fact hold on hold on hold on i want to see something here let's go back to our statty stat right here he okay so i'm at i was, I was sitting at 1003 he's sitting at 1053 in my opinion he was more stacked than i was um, but he just like man, he really did not have it going for him whatsoever. So that's that was a really nice little grab there Okay Now, uh, I do want to talk about some other swords as well Even though like as you can see we really weren't in danger there. Okay. I, I, I Want to be straightforward with you. We never drop below half health So I did pop a lot of my defenses kind of early But I also wanted to make sure I had my my guardian helmet on cooldown because uh, a, a couple of reasons why the, the main reason being is that I know as a someone who uses spear uh, He does not have any damage over a time effects So me just popping my guardian helmet early allowed what would, would have allowed me to get another uh, Activation sooner rather than later. Okay now Other swords claymores are insane right now. I wasn't too sure how well they were gonna do I even went up against some early on and kind of destroyed them but as time goes on, brother, they are kind of insane. By the way, these tome, these little tome chests are like so disappointing, right? Like it, it, it is insane how um how sad they are. Also, and by the way, might I add, I uh, I completely um fucked up and didn't even have a beef stew on. So imagine if I had a beef stew, the burst would have been even more insane as well. Uh, I want to okay. Don't forget to change back your Q. You can also try splitting uh, splitting flash as your uh, as your W if you wanted to. Okay. The reason the reason for that is even though the pairing strikes really good, the W is like a is even more damage, and you don't really have to like uh, you know you, you you don't have to be in, in in an ability to use it. You can just use it, right? It's really good. Now, when it comes to other things you can use besides the uh, taproot, the taproot's pretty good. Taproot isn't 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 too shabby. However, it's really good. I also recommend you could do the music. The music also works really well. If you don't know what the music does, it just gives you a nice um, damage boost in both ability and attack. I would stay away from the crypt candle unless you have the biggest balls in the entire world. Because although you're, you're 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 dealing with you're pretty much dealing with a uh, a flaming sword, and I'm talking flaming from the tip of the sword all the way down to the handle, okay. Uh, the reason I say that is because the um, the crypt candle also makes you take more extra damage, and like you just you just don't want that to happen. By the way, now um, with that being said, the weakness of this, so I don't no there might not be one i'm sure there is one right i mean it's, it's not it's not perfect hiding builds with kiting builds i recommend either moving over well it's tough right with a kite build you can stay in parrying strike and just try to you know hit your right hit hit the parries like you're some kind of god or you can move over to iron will which gives you which grants you an extra heroic charge 
uh, just whenever you use it, which allow you to move a little bit quicker and catch up to the kiting builds as well. Or you can try to move with a splitting slash, which I recommend. I but that's to me. I just like splitting slash because it gives, gives you the extra damage and the roots a little bit poggers, baby. It's pretty good. I mean, like, this is good damage right there. Like I said, you you do miss out on the parrying strike, but I don't know if you really need it, you know. Also, the E's insane. I mean, like, I I, I I was a broadsword player through and through in the beginning. When I first started playing this game, I was like, broadswords are gonna be my thing. And then and then you kind of realize they're really not that good in uh, in two v two Hellgates. They get they get a little bit better. They they I feel like they fall out of meta a lot in like Hellgates and back into it, especially in, like five v five and stuff like that. Just, just just from what I hear. But now the one v one. I had a feeling we're gonna have, we were gonna have a little bit of something something in them. Okay, I would love to hear what, what you guys are using right now. I keep saying you guys like my fucking Yankee. Uh, I, I'm curious to what y'all are using in your builds. Uh, I would love to know what weapons you're trying. I would love to know what weapons you, you would want me to try out as well and see what I can do with them. I'll look up some builds, do a little bit of my own research, have some fun with them. You know, maybe, maybe learn something along the way. Like I always say, it's never about the destination. It's about the journey and the friends you make along the way. Isn't that right? Where are we at? We're at 435. We're almost to the final boss. I probably won't have to cut this at all, which is extremely nice. I'll just have to, um, uh, oh no. Uh, just, you know, just upload it straight forward, which is pretty good. But I, let, the, let it be known that that was the first time I had to use my, uh, my guardian helmet in a PVE setting. There's, there's a chest back here. Good. I'm glad I came this way. This will not quite get me to where I want to be yet. Uh, also, pro tip for the new players out there, although the Purging Shield is fantastic for PvP, you can do two things. You can use it for defense. It does increase your resistances by 65. Or, while you're in PvE mode, you can move over to Frost Shield for more um, resistance. Or you can even go to Mend Wounds if you plan on not using a, uh, a cabbage soup at all and just have a stew with you at all times. Also viable, in my opinion. All, although, cabbage soup's really good. But we do actually have the final boss up here, which is perfect. Where are we at? Anyway, 12 minutes is going to be a beautiful video. Now, I wasn't... So, so this, is, this is the first video of how I'm going to do these. I don't know how I'm going to settle into these yet. If you do have any recommendations or have, any, you know, maybe some ideas you would like to see, like, hey, you know, instead of uh, instead of just talking the whole time, how about you show us, like, you know, how about you show us some pogged out of our gourd clips of the weapon instead? I can do that too, but you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. This would honestly might be better to go for the uh, parrying strike here, but we're going to see what we can do without it. I don't know. I, 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 like, I like talking to you guys. I love, I, love, I love sharing my experiences, my stories. Tier 8, tier eight with Tier 5 has been on a small hiatus. It is coming back very quickly though. I was kind of waiting for the new weapons to drop. Uh, and see if I could knock some of those out when they drop, but they're kind of expensive right now, which doesn't surprise me, by the way. But I was hoping maybe they wouldn't be. Oh, dude, this attack right here—it's it's easy. You just uh, you just kind of do that. If you, if you have the parrying strike, it's a very good parry target, by the way. By, okay, man, a lot of teaching right here. Okay, that was a mess up. That was a that was not a very good point I was trying to make here. But when when he does this attack, you can like dodge and then press spacebar and it will like auto attack him. It's actually really good. So normally I like to play the the long con, right? See that I'm doing that. I'm, I'm moving and pressing space bar and doing a single auto attack. I love, you know, I usually, I'm usually more of like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit and go right into the next dungeon. But we have some insane loot right now. In fact, we can see how much the loot is worth in my inventory. Oh no. Oh no. GG's boys. GG's boys. Right now we're at 1.47 mil with my inventory alone being 907k just from one. Nuts. But nuts, dude. And it's a purple chest. Ah, not bad. Not not terrible. I would even call that pretty good. What do you have in here? And that's gonna do it guys. Let me know what you think of this build. Let me know what you think of broadswords in general. And uh, yeah, I'm oxidized. I stream on Twitch. I've been doing some corrupted dungeons here lately. Sunday. 
it is gonna change but my next stream will be sunday come check it out 5 p.m standard time and uh i'll see you beautiful people later